sipping on a scissor. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. He's dead. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage midair? A typical dragon would never. Professor? <sighs> Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir, if you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Get to my goal. How far did that port key take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those ruins. Do you the think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right, and wouldn't mind it's indulging okay. me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. So. No. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Well, I put this in performance. Magic. I'm trying to stop on base. Yes, a powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. Oh, yeah. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key. I see the man but I am it. certain it was to do with that search. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. What the hell are they now? <laughs> Thank you, sir. I need to have now the database with you. Ah, up there. I don't really do it to find this shit without him. He's taking too long. I'm not trying to come. I'm not trying to chase him. Just do it jump up on that door. Just take my legs out of that door. We're close now, it's just ahead. Steady yourself. I 
do it to the spare, we'll do this at repair. Repair row. Almost there. Why would someone have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. Let us hear from Ethan. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. <laughs> This may have been his home. That enchanted crystallized stone again. What's this? Professor Fig. that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room i don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container you find out i got the juice you don't perfect the feet where are we i don't believe it Hello? Wake your ass up. Hey. Hey, you back there. Wake your bitch ass up. They <coughs> bitch that sleep forever. It can't mm -hmm. be. Hey, uh, just a moment. <laughs> <Ooh>. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> no customers. Oh, you can't escape. I ain't gonna escape it. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <laughs> nah, 21, Precisely. bitch. We don't fuck with 12. The key. Mm -hmm. The white's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. Yeah, he was gonna be talking to his wife like he supposed to. He don't know what to cut the teeth, though. After you. Inside the cars, if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Sadie, what you getting that for? Must heard the new Harry Potter coming out too, then. Why you really gotta sit inside with them, motherfucker? How many votes are there? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vote number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. You should see now where the new is. A private entrance is to the bank common at Gringotts. It'd be a fun ass ride, but I ain't gonna lose. I'd be scared as more for her. Hi. 
I'll be throwing up right behind your head. Experience the thief's downfall hmm. before, have you heard of it? This is our behind me, baby. I'm going Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was found in the vault. I'm going to throw up on my shelter. I'm going to have my eye closed. Hey, damn. This is how I was in Lando, boy. I was scared as a motherfucker. I'm going to get it right. Vault number 12. Motherfucker patrol, man. <laughs> number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> mm, I'm bald looking at a bit. On you, boy. Bitch, you stopping us like you can do something. Be watching again, okay. Professor, the old man that God was wearing is glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. That darker. I saw that same glow in the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Oh, this goblin got down there. Working with the ops. When was Where's the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12. Until today. Yeah, there's something over there on the side, I can't get it. Oh, damn, you ain't got a time key? Bolt 12. Thank you for your help. How are you gonna go in there like you know what you're looking for? Oh, damn, $52. 52? I found some more money. That's just not the first one. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Boy! Very good. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. The wall, man. I don't know if you think. Revelio. Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Oh, Lord. Oh, I gotta move it faster. Closer and try again. Hold on, let me check. Make sure ain't no money behind me. Rebellio. A door. Rebellio. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. Hey, that should be fire. That shit. What's the band, boy? I do, you put it up all the words. <laughs> yeah. If what you can see reveals the way forward. I'm then just I talking, say, man. Come on. Discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos. Lumos, this, this is no ordinary man. vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. Revelio. 
But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of the woods. Come on, man. Nigga, fuck out my money, man. I know it's money, yeah. Radio. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. the glow it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about are you all right yes sir i'm fine you Come seem on, to man. have caused the floor to change pace in that game that so statue what statue yeah, i see some sort of statue but only as a reflection in the floor it looks like you gotta do the same thing in the I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos, well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Got a fight already? Let's go. Which one of y'all niggas wanna die first? Did they go? Okay, Professor Fade got no hold now. Give me, how are you gonna let me do my shit? Come on, I don't know where this nigga moving. This guy down slow attack me now. Come on. I got my shit on normal. I should get a bitch on hard. Borderland soldiers. Stay close. Bitch, I ain't gotta stay close to you. Can't do none of this without me. Protego. Professor. Professor Fig. Professor, where are you? This isn't good. Where am I supposed to go? Well, I got some more money. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Uh, Lumos. Revelio. I got that scene that you got it too. I'm a man without it. <laughs> I'm a man without it. Rebellion. I don't want 
Lumos. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Lumos. Ah, no poor. with their reflections. Oh, I see that there, don't worry. Lumos. Perhaps I need to get them all to stand at once. Yeah, they don't trigger but they're gonna be fucked up fucking with this guy that guy. It seems I have no choice. I'm gonna to have to fight my way. So I tell you man, the my car. Play with him, boy. Master Wizard, boy. Don't play with him. Who next? Reveal yourself. Rebellious. There you go. Lumos. You think the professor's out? It's definitely like this. Yeah, yourself. Why am I screen trying to hear it? Oh, that popped out of the sensor beam. Uh, 
Revelio. Floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. Yeah, he got no views. That is no. a pit. For viewing no memories. No reason want to see the new Harry Potter. I wonder. <laughs> I met one time, man, Bricker went out of town. Now we just went to Grenade. We had the guy running out that Grenade. So when I fell asleep, watching this shit. Man, it looked like it was in the middle. I think it was the last one. The middle of the movie, that bit was forever. Was like, damn, it's long that movie. Every part of looked like he done died in there. I was like, God damn. This shit still going on? But it was fine. My little cousin just loved him, bitch. He was ready about four of them. Joseph? All is in place. Redfield? The portkey is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I don't think you know Joseph, but come for the red fields down there. May be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see the first one. I fell in love with the second one. Second movie, first one, I ain't like it. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. The second one, fire. We are entrusting one who embarks on this path with the powerful spirits with knowledge. Others will do anything to take. He did it like a surround sound and down. Thank you, Bob. Yeah, correct, Charles. The ritual wizard who completes the trial to have proven himself worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. What should I say? That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Oh, could never Miriam, use it. And perhaps George died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems. Are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <laughs> you got a gun for the partner. Sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. Some I was to grant access there. only to one with the key, and you didn't have yeah, three hours of vacation, though. I have no patience yeah, for traitors. 24 hours of peak. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful.
bank put me like a branch off. Are you all right? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Exactly, Where huh? are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Ah, you don't have to get my charger. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? So I've been my job for well, I guess it's a high on Phineas, Nigellus, Black. To my yes, I must not prepare day. yourself to meet the headmaster for months. Fig, nice of you to join us. Oh, I'll the sorting you. ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has. Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'll just start there. I can't wait to explore. 
I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Mm, what is it? Loyalty? No. A sense of loyalty? I believe myself to be a true friend. I know I value that trait in others. Mm. You do not give up easily, do you? You are undaunted by challenges that lie ahead. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Perhaps you belong in Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. Might pick the Hufflepuff mouth. Patient, but it's hard work. Yep. I'm going to Hufflepuff. Unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring. This year's what Quidditch you mean? season has uh -oh. been cancelled. <coughs> Enough. It's not as though I fan really flying together, but don't tempt me. Oh, well, you are I'll here to focus on your it. academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Hey, I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. <laughs> now. Here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance? Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. Where I shall be back in the morning to with my Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. It makes no sense. We don't even know what time it is. Where about the fuck I be doing? My partner. There's enough work in all the goddamn time. Sorry. But put working on this game. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. Rebellion. This ain't no boys in my room. Okay. Yeah, 
wrap it up with. Oh, it's just place. Oh, well, I lose here a thousand times. Because you have all the way out there, I see it. Five and everything. Who you playing chess with? Put the 21 on this motherfucker. I suppose some introductions are in order. Hey there, bitch. Oh, hello. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know who she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself. Especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I do a lot to catch up on. I do have a lot. I'm really one of worried. them. I'm sure I'll be fine. One of them. Yes, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. That's a couple of right down. Weasel for a mascot. You think you should have uh, It was nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. I don't care what you want to be, you should have hit me. Father's got you. You don't need to be so frightened, little cat. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> oh, Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice yeah, to meet same you. Same people in your room. Was that your cat? No. One of the first Do years, I think. The, don't know, have any pets of my own, own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially the magical to her. ones. Oh. Shane, I can't mess with you, so I feel like I can't do it. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowtruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? Yeah, you put I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course, and good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? So Professor Weasley is waiting for them outside the common room. Which is my favorite. At least I get to see all the brooms. Even if I can't afford them myself. Revelio. Oh, I 
thought the cat got floated up. That's a down water bottle. This water and plants on its own. Oh, you can, um, I ain't with R2. for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Yeah, Walk with yeah. me and we shall put it to the test. What more you need? This way. Rebellion. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. I certainly would have something like the field. Start. Start and pound the same time. Yeah, yeah, I'm just down. Using the guide will also train Rebellion. to your surroundings. Do keep up. You won't walk as well, bro. Revelio on it, and we'll see what it is. How is the first day Close. 
Clever, isn't it? Take it out. Keep your eyes open for more Inside and outside of the castle. Oh. I was about not one thirty, not yeah, one thirty two. Depends on what they got me on the mission. I'm following this lady around now. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains oh, yeah. a map of the castle. Okay, Open it up and find the central hall. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. Wish I brought that out. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade yeah, as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm afraid there is. There isn't. There is a we did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. 
And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Revelio. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guides map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Now, you'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an... I shall reach out when I... For now... Rebellion! Hello, Lenora. Oh. What are you looking at? Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. Are there any other empty paintings like this around the school? Yes, a few. This entire place is somewhat of a riddle, to be honest. If I can work out the riddle of this one, I'll know what to do with all of them. As good a place as any to begin. Have you gained any insights about the painting since you've been studying it? I did discover that casting Lumos has an effect of some kind. But I'm not sure what to do next. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Do come Revelio. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Who's that stairs? Not a thought. Mm. My family has a lineage of this spot. Am I trying to do side quests though? I don't think it's anything oh. special. Not really. We're gonna get my power up, okay? 
This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Uh, Lumos. Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Frame. That's one out of eight. Level two. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. A pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that, too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that! Rebellion. All right, now I gotta go to play. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Lumos. I'm most pleased to be included. <laughs> That's fine, they gotta do like the damn moving. Pictures moving and shit. <laughs> you bitch over there jamming. I'm trying to find a nigga in the pictures. Yeah, they aren't doing nothing. Oh, what about this book? Lumos. No page for him. Revelio. Rebellion. Turn to the thing, okay. Travel broadens the mind. Why anything you roll, but in the air. Rebellion. 
Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. Look at these floating pages and shit, like, can't catch this shit. Off on another adventure, are we? Revelio. I don't know here I'm supposed to get to my class. I know I can't. Oh, bro, okay, so. Time to <clears throat> now, was it two pinches of anger? <sighs> Revelio. How nice to see you, my young friend. Hmm. Oh, Rebellion. So it's set on fire. <laughs> oh, for when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. I'll just die. Revelio. Not sure he's in at the present moment, the ambassador. Would be sure to tell him how very much you despise. Don't 
Oh, you you guys went to the dark magic world. Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, uh, but I only have one Hebridean. I went to the uh, went to the class where I got her. And a little spell, the Levios. Levioso. A Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. <clears throat> For a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso! Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. I know. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. You're good. How perceptive. <laughs> what are you doing this for? I'll give you this joy and life, you two. Now the child can play the own play. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. Hackett. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things okay. from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achievement and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I would like I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional mm. assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? <laughs> you like Felt it. more like I was yeah, an expert. Like it. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. It was. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know. You might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Hmm. Exclusive and unsanctioned? Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, 
you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, it was, I don't think it really was a side quest, but it was having a student out with a not to get caught. Thank you, you know, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower in. Till next time. Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Rebellion. Just on the down roof. Protector. Uh, <clears throat> see, I ain't gonna worry. I know I ain't gonna make it. Handy resource indeed, your field. Rebellion. I'm most pleased to be included. <laughs> Why I can't catch up, man? Why am I flying in here now? Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met? Learner, I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it, you might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. Fun goes, goes hand in hand, hand with mastery, as I'm, I'm sure, sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, so, what better than a bit, a bit of sport, sport to put our prowess of the summoning charm to the test? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Don't lose your composure. That 
Very good. Very good. Points, Points to Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff. But there's well, certainly, there's certainly no, no sport in playing without, without some friendly competition. competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on! Come on. You'll be happy with us just as before, before and Miss Onai, you, you are playing red. red. Clear? Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's how done. Interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think I we are well past well interesting at this point. I'll say. Hey, hey, enough, enough chatter. chatter. Focus, Focus now. now. You, you will need, need it. it. This, this round, round settles, settles it all. Let us see this. <laughs> Gather, Gather your things on the way out. Well done, back there. You took you the took loss in stride. Didn't, didn't want to go to too easy on you. Took me took weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took, took weeks, weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, easier. I promise. I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot it's to take in all at once. once. To put to it lightly. Like I, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. My, my mother, mother was, before, before I met, before I met it, we had we left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. 
and with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, of course. you can help us if you want to. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first Charles list lived up to expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What Charles there in the expected? Miss, of course, Professor. There was a challenging match. Miss Unai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Revenge. Revenge.